April on Cape Cod, and something fascinating is happening here at Mill Pond, though you might zip right by without even noticing. No, it's not the birding, though this is a great place to see a variety of ducks and some friendly swans. This is the site of the Marston's Mills Herring Run, and each year in spring, herring and alewives make an amazing journey from the ocean up through the Cape's rivers and streams to spawn in freshwater ponds. Just like their more famous counterpart, the salmon, these anadromous fish need to return to the same body of water they were spawned in. Come at any other time of year, and this curious cement construction in the waterway may be a mystery, but right now it's full of fish, lots of them. With the management of waterways and the building of dams, herring and alewives, once so plentiful that they turned rivers into silver, have had their numbers decimated. Cut off from their spawning places, unable to breed, the herring and alewife populations dwindled. And while not an endangered species, they, like so many other species, are in trouble. Luckily, towns have begun to realize the value of returning rivers and streams to their normal state. They are now monitoring each year's fish numbers, and in places like Mill Pond, there's a fish ladder, a series of small dams and channels that allow the herring to climb up gradually, avoiding the large dam they'd never be able to jump over. Even with the fish ladder, it's not an easy journey. Some make it and some don't. The strongest eventually reach the safety of Mill Pond. The relative safety, that is, because while they may be out of the current, their biggest threat isn't from the water, but from the air. Like the herring, ospreys arrive on Cape Cod every April as well, hungry for a tasty meal. shallow waters of Mill Pond, the tired fish are easy pickings, though the ospreys sometimes come up empty-handed. Recently, even bald eagles have been spotted here. Herring and alewives come from the open ocean up the Marston's Mills River to Mill Pond, then on through forests, fields, and cranberry bogs to their destination, Middle Pond where they spawn. Unlike salmon, which die shortly after spawning, herring and alewives can make this journey as many as five times before they die. So if it's April, don't let this amazing, if understated, journey go unnoticed. It's a fun part of Cape Cod life and one of the cycles that have continued for generations. Let's hope these fascinating fish continue to rebound and the birds, animals, and people will enjoy them for generations to come. Thanks so much for watching this episode of Ray Goes To with Ray Bartlett. If you liked it, please subscribe to the YouTube channel and you can find me online at facebook.com slash author or on my website at www.kaisora.com That's K-A-I S-O-R-A dot com. See you next time and safe travels.